All right. Hopefully this will be a fun, short lesson for you on learning how to use a spreadsheet. Um, how do you get to here? Well, I jumped off of my um, Google Mail and I quickly clicked over here and I clicked on Sheets. And that opens up a blank sheet and you can just grab any old sheet like this. Now because my eyesight is so bad, I actually increase the font size. So here's my Google sheet I would like you to make. First of all, you need to get some data. I got five data items here. My theme is that there's a big soccer game tonight between Argentina versus Paraguay. Vamos al biceleste! Okay, and um, so I'm getting kind of excited and I'll be home watching in hopefully short order. But I looked up scores for how many goals they've scored in the past five meetings. So the last time they met, they scored two goals. I think it was two to zero, and that was one to zero, and then zero to zero, and then six to one, and two to two. So, um, and I think Argentina won most of those. So they'll probably win tonight, I'm confident. Anyways, once you collect your data, get at least five, hopefully maybe 10 items from your data list. You can look up a topic, or if you want to, just go ahead and go back and grab a problem that has some data in it from your homework, okay? It uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, don't use my numbers. I don't want these numbers showing up in the homework. All right, uh, now I had it calculate the mean. First off, uh, when you type in a number in general, uh, again, to type in the, like a title, you just click and then you start typing, all right? So this, I could say something like the first game. And first game, that's how they say it somewhere. I don't know what accent that is. Anyways, so that's always going to be uh, data, or sorry, text will be aligned on the left, um, and that's fine. My numbers, I like them centered, so when I type in a number, say eight, it automatically comes up on the right. I don't like that, so I centered them, and there's a centering tool, I think, right there. All right, but here's where the meat and potatoes are. These are just words I just typed in. I put an equal sign after, and then I'm going to show you how to enter this information. And I didn't actually calculate any of this up. I just looked up the formulas in the machine. All right? First off, you always start with an equal sign. So find the equal sign on the board, click on that. And then it's going to say start typing in a, some sort of formula. And because this is an average, I'm going to start. And if you just type A, average will show up. It's there at the top. Um, so there it is, boom. Now it wonders, where are your numbers? So it's telling the average of what numbers. Now it's selecting B3 to B8, and that is not quite right. It should be B3 to B7, because notice this cell here is under column B, and it's the seventh item. So it started with that one, and it went all the way down to um, here. Now that's empty. So it, I'm going to take that and change the 8 to a 7. Notice how it highlights that orange area. And I hit return, and there it is. Voila, 2.8. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in equal sign again, and it's looking for a formula. So I now type in median, and the median shows up. And again, it wants a range of numbers. Now, in this case, it didn't fill them in for me. So you can actually highlight and then just drag down. That's a cute way of doing it. And then close up that parentheses and hit return. Uh, again, the same thing for the maximum. And there's the maximum. And you can type it in too. You can just say B3, then you have to do colon um, B8. And it doesn't really matter that you don't have the um, colons in there, or the 
capital is. Same thing for the max or the min. Okay. Standard deviation, a little bit trickier because when you type in equals st, oops, not s, s r s t. Uh, standard dev. That's no. Uh, yeah, standard deviation. And then you're going to type in, again, those values right here. And again, this time I'll click and drag because I like that technique. Close it up. And there it is, the standard deviation. Once you get all this, then you want to take a screenshot of that to submit it, okay? Uh, to get a screenshot, I don't know if you know how to do this on here, but you're going to hold the control key. And uh, I think it is this one. All right, there it is. See, I made a screenshot. And that's going to show up inside your images. I'll open up my folder here and click on images. And there's that image I just created. So now go to Schoology. I thought I opened a Schoology up here. There it is. And open measures the spreadsheet activity. There it is. And then go ahead and submit it, that image from here. All right. Well, hopefully that wasn't too painful and you learned how to do spreadsheets and that's cool. Uh, Monday we review.